Hello again. Are you ready for another badger story? Well, guess what? It's time for another tale with Badger from George's Story Die. And the other story that we got for today is Badger and the Great Rescue by Suzanne Chu and Caroline Tedler. And I'm pretty sure you'll have a great time. One bright day, Badger was busy reading when Mouse raced up. Badger, look at this web I found, he cried. It's perfect for washing line. Will you help me make one? Of course, smiled Badger. He picked up his tool bag and off they went. In no time at all, Mouse's washing hung on her brand new line. Hmm, I wonder where the rope came from, said Badger. Then something caught in the bushes. Caught his eye. He reached into the leaves and heaved it out. It's a basket, squeaked Mouse. Hmm, it's a mystery, frowned Badger. How ever did it get here? Mouse hopped excitedly. It would make a brilliant shed for Hedgehog. Badger nodded. Let's surprise him. They patched and mended until the shed was perfect. Hedgehog will be so busy, Mouse giggled, and she was right. Thank you, squealed Hedgehog. It's wonderful. We found it in the bushes, said Mouse. That's strange, said Hedgehog. I found something too. Come with me. But when they reached the clearing, Rabbit was already there. Look at my lovely cloth, he cried. I'm going to make a tent. To make a hammock, said Hedgehog. Can I have some frog eyes? Mouse asked. We can share it, smiled Badger. There's plenty to go round. Rabbit carefully divided up the cloth. <laughs> ah, hold on, frowned Hedgehog. Why have you got the biggest piece? Because I'm the biggest, said Rabbit. But, but I found it first. Sniffed, the friends started to pick, and soon there was a terrible rumpus. Stop! called Badger. There's no need to squabble. We can share the cloth equally. Look! He divided the cloth into three equal pieces. Hooray! everyone cheered. I'll start snipping, beat Rabbit, but just then birds swooped down. Quick, quick! she chirped. Someone needs our help! They followed Bert to the tallest tree in the forest. There, clinging to a branch, was a frightened little mole. Help! he yelled. Help! How terrible! fretted Rabbit. What can we do? squeaked Mouse. Badger frowned. We must rescue him! I could try to let him down, offered Bert, but I think he'll be too heavy. We could build a really tall ladder, Hedgehog suggested, but that would take a very long time. I know, said Rabbit. Mole can jump and we'll catch him in that piece of cloth. They all rushed off to get it. The friends stretched out the cloth like a huge trampoline. Jump, Mole! shouted Badger. We'll catch you! But when Mole looked down, <clears throat> he couldn't believe his eyes. My aunt air balloon, he cried. A balloon? gasped Badger. That's where all these useful things have come from. <clears throat> Uh, I tumbled it out um, when it bumped into this tree, called Mole. I thought I'd lost it forever. Don't worry, shouted Badger. <coughs> we'll fix your balloon and use it to rescue you. Well, I'm sorry. There'll be new, no new washing line or shed, said Badger as they collected the pieces of Mole's balloon. We don't mind, the friend replied. We must help Mole. Everyone set to work. They knotted and tied and stitched and glued until the balloon was as good as new. We're coming, Mole! <coughs> called Rabbit as the balloon sailed up, up, upwards. Up at the top of a tr tree, Badger reached out a strong, friendly paw. Don't be frightened, Mole! He said. Just hold on tight. You won't let go, whispered Mole. I promise, said Badger. And with a whoosh, he pulled Mole to safety. What lovely new friends you are, Beagle. How can I ever thank you? Well, 
said Badger. We were hoping you'd laugh, take us for a ride. Woohoo! laughed Rabbit. That's a wonderful idea, <laughs> giggled Mole. Away we go! And they all floated off towards a brand new adventure. There are more bright and brilliant books that you can get from Little Tiger Press. Badger the Great Storm, Eddie and Dog, Dangerous, One Special Sleepover, Big and Small, and finally, Bear Can't Sleep. And I'm pretty sure that you might check out one of these books that you can find in your local library. So, and that's it. So that's all the stories I can read now. I don't think I'll be doing any more stories. But however, I will only start after Georgia and Arthur. Oh yes, and, and same with the Adventures of Arthur. So until next time, viewers. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye.